I wanted to add this in real quick here. This is after I did the episode, so the audio quality might sound different. Sorry to break the immersion, but I wanted to thank YouTube user Euphoria. I didn't know if I was really going to do this story, but this user was interested in doing it. And I want to make sure I take the time out to thank the listeners who recommend stories to me. So thanks, Euphoria. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the story here. So the next story we're going to cover is YouTube was down for one hour on October 16th, 2018. And there are already three or four conspiracy theories involving it. I think it's interesting because it shows what a social, social like landmark, social joining place for society has become that YouTube goes down for an hour and people within days are like, what's going on? What's going on? This must have been this big thing. So, I mean, it just shows, like, people, like, this is such a part of their lives that if it goes down for an hour, conspiracy theories pop up. Now, if Netflix went down for an hour, people would go, it's probably just some technical issue. The reason why it became more of a conspiracy when YouTube shut down because all of the user uploaded content. So people thought, oh my god, somebody uploaded something to YouTube and the powers that be had to shut it down. They had to take it out. Now, of course... People were talking about deep fakes and stuff like that. But these were the three big... There's quite a few, actually. So one of them was that there was a video of a man, a a man in a military uniform, saying an object is about to hit the moon. And YouTube shuts down. And then someone found a video of something hitting the moon, and they're like, oh my god, look at this is the reason why YouTube went down. Here's a footage of something hitting the moon, and there's like this huge dust cloud. I mean, that might work, except everyone could have just looked up slightly and seen it impact the moon. The video actually was from 2017. It was a special effects test and so on and so forth. So that theory fell to the wayside. The other one is that YouTube now has an AI, which that's always the buzzword, AI. YouTube has an AI that now buzzes around YouTube looking for live streams. Oh, you know, what's over here? Oh, someone talking about Fortnite? Oh, I hear someone else talking about Fortnite. What's this guy talking about Fortnite? This guy's talking about Fortnite. Oh, this guy's talking about some conspiracy that no one should know about. Shuts the whole YouTube down. Really? That seems like be the most inefficient way. YouTube at the end of the day is a business. And they lost millions of dollars when they were shut down. So if Andy Worski is saying something on his live stream that the AI doesn't like, the easiest thing to do is to just nuke his channel get him off of the channel you don't have to shut down all of youtube because he's saying i hate anita sarkeesian for the 20th time and the website goes down the other theory was that there was a video released of a reptilian yes yes reptilian my favorite aliens of all time the seven foot tall reptilian shapeshifters that somehow shapeshift into a human size but The mass doesn't change. But anyways, so there was a video of them uploaded and YouTube's like, oh my God, the CIA is calling them up. They're like, get this video off of here. That is proof that a reptilian is on this planet. And they're like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know how many videos there are on YouTube of reptilians? I'm pretty sure if I searched for one, it would show up in my recommended videos. I'm sure it would show up reptilian videos in my featured channel. There's thousands of them. But Jason, those are fake reptilian videos then how would you be able to tell a real reptilian video from a fake reptilian video? Because if I saw a video of a guy, let's go back to the deep fakes thing. If I saw a video of a reptilian guy walking around, I would immediately assume that was fake. I'd be like, that's not real. No matter how good the special effects were, I would be like, or if it was real, I'd be like, I'd be like, that's weird because it looks real, but it has to be fake. I would almost have to watch it and be convinced that it was real. Now, you could go, but Jason, they know that. So that's why they shut down YouTube. Let me tell you a little trick. If you want to, okay, let's say you had video footage of alien, like provable alien. You you meet a real alien. You break into a laboratory, whatever. You have video footage of two conformers, a reptilian, and eight greys, just kind of like chilling out in the lounge. And you're like, I need to get this footage out there. First off, YouTube is not the best place to do it. But YouTube has, you go, well, YouTube has the biggest group of viewers and da-da-da-da-da. All you need to do is to initially get the video online and it will spread itself. If you put it on YouTube, you're going to be battling 20 Fortnite videos. And like eight videos exposing BetterHelp. 
and then you'll be somewhere on there. It's n- But anyways, here's what you do. You load the videos up. You set everything to private. You put them on all the websites. You put them on like LiveLeak. You put it on Daily Daily Motion. You put it on any website where you can upload videos. Set everything to private. And then when you're ready to release it, you release you you put all the videos from private to public. They appear simultaneously all over the place. And then at the same time, upload them to Torrent. Put them on Pirate Bay if that's still even around. Send it to WikiLeaks. You'd have to do a mass distribution of the information. Because that way, if one of the sites gets shut down, they're not going to be able to shut them down all at the same time. They would literally have to like crinkle the hose of the internet to really to get that information out. And I'm an idiot. And I came up with that. If I was a deep state operative, if I was a CIA guy on the run or a super soldier or whatever, you could come up with something way better than that. I'm an idiot. I came up with that as I was walking home today, prepping this episode. I was like, "That's it's so easy to do. That's what I would do. And I'm a dork. And there's a ton of people who are into this stuff way smarter than I am. And I'm sure they could figure out something better. But anyway, so Reptilian Video got uploaded to YouTube. They shut it down. Uh, Pizzagate was the other theory. Video got uploaded of politicians uh, murdering a kid. You know? (sighs) Onto YouTube. That's where if you had that footage of Tony Blair and Nancy Pelosi just like straight up just like boxing this eight-year-old. I mean, just like going at it. You're going to upload that to YouTube? This is why it went down. This is the most logical explanation. And I found this on 4chan. And some guy just kind of threw it out there. And people are like, yeah, that is pretty logical. A couple weeks ago, Google announced that Google Plus was a bust. That just wasn't working out for them. It was a money hole. They wanted to remove it. And the theory is, is that when they removed it, basically YouTube went down because Google Plus and YouTube are so interconnected. They're both owned by the same people that to remove the one, they had to take YouTube offline Most likely they thought it was just going to be like a minute or two and it lasted longer than they thought it was because computer code can be a little finicky. They were getting everything sorted out. Why would they do that at on Tuesday at five in the afternoon? Well, they didn't because YouTube is a global brand. So for some users, it was the middle of the night and they didn't even know it was off. For other users, it was like, oh my God, the world's ended. I can't get access to YouTube. And they could have also said, you know, statistically, this is our lowest viewing point. And I could be wrong on that. They, someone could say, no, no, it's actually their highest. And, and fair enough. But they may have said, listen, we're, they will, for five minutes, people will have a problem. Videos will be running a little slow. But And I think, because again, they lost millions of dollars because of this. That's the most likely explanation. And here's the, so this is the thing. They announced that the Google Plus, they, it wasn't going to work. And then this happens. So the idea that they had, they go, listen, there's a video out there floating around of a politician eating a reptilian baby on the moon, but we don't know when it's going to be released. Let's now say that we're getting rid of Google Plus and we're going to wait an indeterminate amount of time until we detect that video getting uploaded and then we'll shut it down and then we'll use the cover story that it was because Google Plus getting shut down. Everyone's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. If the Google, I think that if the Google Plus announcement came out today and they said, listen, this is why it's down. Google Plus sucks. We were losing a lot of money. Then the story would make less sense. Then it would sound like a cover story. But because they announced it before, it's not like they were just going to wait until this horrible video popped up. Also, lots of horrible stuff is on YouTube and it doesn't get taken down. Stuff that could hold people criminally liable and it doesn't get taken down. So the idea that someone has this horrible video of Pizzagate or aliens or the moon landing and that's why the moon did be destroyed or whatever it was it's all nonsense that was the reason why youtube went down it's just it's backwards fairy tale making it's something happening and then people going backwards and trying to figure out why it happened that's all it is it's a there's two types of conspiracy theories there's conspiracy theory that predicts something that is going to happen there's conspiracy theory that predicts or explains why something happened or is happening. I guess there's three. There's one that explains what's going to happen. Like there's a fall, going to be a false flag event during the earthquake drills in California in two months. It's a conspiracy theory about what's going on right now. And now Katy Perry is a member of the Illuminati. And this video is about her worshiping Lucifer. And then there's conspiracy theories that explain stuff that previously happened. Like 9-11 and like this. Where they're like, this event happened and this is why. 
There's a couple screenshots of some legs and some dark stains on them. And people are like, that's poop. That's poop. And that's Pizzagate proof. People are like, what? That No, that's from some art project. It, it's completely ridiculous. There's a video of a... It looks... Honestly, it looks like a dead body. I watched the video. But it looks like a dead body on a beach. And people are like, look, it's a reptilian. And it looks like she's partially decayed. And it could actually be a dummy. I don't know. It's... On video, it can be hard to tell the difference between a completely intact dummy and a completely intact corpse. Not in real life, though. It's... it's it's quite easy. And then with um, the moon thing's totally been debunked. So we have all these videos and these screenshots. This is going to, for the next, a year from now, people are going to be like, why did YouTube really get brought down? If, a couple of years ago, I think, and the internet time moves really quick, so it may have just been last year. But a couple of years ago on 4chan, the website went down briefly. And the theory was that somebody posted a photo of an alien... <laughs> Of an alien walking by a tree in the desert. And they took down the site. Or at least they took down the paranormal board. I wasn't there when it happened. And actually, I will I will say, no one was there when it happened. Because it's all anecdotal. Everyone was like, no, I was on that thread. And I saw the picture. And it was a picture of an alien walking by a tree. And it was so realistic. To this day, there are people still putting up photoshops of an alien walking by a tree. And then other people do like thermal resolution. They're like, no, you can tell from the way the scales are created. That is actually a model. I saw the real picture of the alien walking by the... I love researching conspiracy theories. I think they're really fun. I think that there's a lot of entertainment value in the stories they tell us. There's, a, there's a, I love mysteries, and that's really what's at the core of these. Why was YouTube shut down? But when you're reading a mystery, or when you're in investigating a mystery yourself, and they'll tell cops this too, you can't jump to conclusions. You have to really get into it and, and try to figure it out. And you're not always going to figure it out. But the worst thing we can do is something happened... And then immediately jump to the idea that it's something fantastical. And go, the, the 4chan must have went down because the alien picture. YouTube must have went down because of the alien video. It's a, I, think it, I think overall that might be exhausting. I think we can run into conspiracy theories. and like, like when I was making fun of the whole Hillary Clinton eating the baby. Like To me, if I dwelt on that and was like, no, this is absolutely true, even though I have absolutely no proof of it. Oh no, there's holes on her tongue. That means she eats humans. If I was really pushing that, I'd almost have no mental energy to investigate other conspiracy theories. You get obsessed with that one particular one. Sometimes you're going to be like, no, I have, a, I have a hunch about this. You start looking into it, and there's just nothing to it. And you have to go, oh, I was wrong, and move on. Conspiracy theories can be really fun, but we can't let them override our common sense or our judgment. Because then it becomes... It's not no longer a fun hobby or an interesting investigation or seeking out some sort of the truth. It becomes an obsession where the truth doesn't matter anymore. It's all just about finding the weirdest possible thing you can think of and hanging your hat on it. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.